Hey everybody, it's I want to be retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing a Windows Server 2022 VM in Proxmox. To get started, open a web browser and navigate to the Proxmox web UI and get logged in. Before we can create the VM, we need to upload a Windows Server 2022 installation ISO, as well as the Vert IO driver ISO, to a storage device on the Proxmox host. With both ISOs uploaded, right click on the Proxmox node name and select Create VM. Give the VM a unique ID and name, then click Next. Select the Server 2022 installation ISO. Then set the OS type to Windows and the version to 11 2022, then click Next. On the System tab, set the EFI storage device and choose if you'd like to add TPM and if so, a TPM storage device. Then set the SCSI controller to VertIO SCSI and check the QMU agent box, then click Next. On the Disks tab, set the bus device dropdown to VertIO block, then set the target storage device and set the virtual disk to at least 30 gigabytes. Set the cache to write back, then click Next. Set CPU cores to two or more and the type to host, then click Next. Set the memory to at least 4096 megabytes or four gigabytes, then click Next. Leave the defaults on the Network tab, then click Next. Review the summary, then click Finish to create the VM. Once the VM's created, select it from the left navigation menu, then select Hardware. From the Add dropdown, select CD DVD Drive. Select the storage with the Vert.io Driver ISO, then select it and click the Add button. We should end up with both the Server 2022 and Vert.io Driver ISOs attached to the VM. Click Start at the top right of the screen then select console from the left sub-navigation menu so we can see the visual output. When prompted, press a key to boot to the CD-DVD drive. Select a language and keyboard layout, then click Install Now. Select the version of Windows Server you'd like to install, then click Next. Check the box to accept the license agreement, then click Next. Then select the custom installation option. Click the Load Driver option, then click Browse. Expand the Vert.io driver disk, then select AMD64 2K22 and click OK. Then click Next to install the Vert.io SCSI controller driver. Now that we can see the unallocated space, click Next to start the installation. Wait while Windows copies and installs files. Then when prompted, click the Restart Now button to reboot the VM. On this reboot, Windows will get services and devices ready, then restart again. After the second reboot, enter and confirm a password for the administrator user. Using the Proxmox on-screen keyboard, send a Control alt delete command then log in using the password we just set. Once the desktop loads, launch File Explorer and navigate to the Vert.io driver CD. Right click on the Vert.io Win Guest Tools and run it as administrator. Step through the installer, accepting all the defaults. Once the installation completes, click Close, then shut down the VM. Back in the Proxmox web UI, select Hardware, then select the CD DVD drive with the Vert.io driver ISO. Click the Remove button, then Yes to confirm. Now double click the remaining CD DVD drive and select Do not use any media and click OK. Now restart the VM and go back to the console. Again, send a control alt delete command, then log in with the administrator password we set earlier. Welcome to Windows Server 2022, running virtualized as a Proxmox VM. 